Welcome to Daily Scripture Reading. I do not own the rights to this music. Luke chapter 1, verses 26 to 37, the King James Version. And in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God unto a city of Galilee, named Nazareth, to a virgin espoused to a man whose name was Joseph, of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And the angel came in unto her and said, Hail thou that art highly favored. The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying and cast in her mind what manner of salutation this should be. And the angel said unto her, Fear not Mary. For thou hast found favor with God. And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb, and bring forth a son, and shall call his name Jesus. He shall be great, and shall be called the Son of the Highest. And the Lord God shall give unto him the throne of his father David. And he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom there shall be no end. Then said Mary unto the angel, How shall this be, seeing I know not a man? And the angel answered and said unto her, The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Therefore also that holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. And behold, thy cousin Elizabeth, she hath also conceived a son in her old age, and this is the sixth month with her who was called barren. For with God nothing shall be impossible. The New Living Translation of Luke chapter 1 verses 26 to 37. The birth of Jesus foretold. In the sixth month of Elizabeth's pregnancy, God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a village in Galilee, to a virgin named Mary. She was engaged to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of King David. Gabriel appeared to her and said, Greetings, favored woman. The Lord is with you. Confused and disturbed, Mary tried to think what the angel could mean. Don't be afraid, Mary, the angel told her. For you have found favor with God. You will conceive and give birth to a son. And you will name him Jesus. He will be very great and will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his ancestor David. And he will reign over Israel forever. His kingdom will never end. Mary asked the angel, But how can this happen? I am a virgin. The angel replied, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. So the baby to be born will be holy, and he will be called the Son of God. What's more, your relative Elizabeth has become pregnant in her old age. People used to say she was barren, but she has conceived a son and is now in her sixth month. For the word of God will never fail. The Amplified Version of Luke chapter 1 verses 26 to 37. Jesus' birth foretold. Now in the sixth month of Elizabeth's pregnancy, the angel Gabriel was sent from God to a city in Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph, a descendant of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, the angel said, Greetings, favored one, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly perplexed at what he said, and kept carefully considering what kind of greeting this was. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Listen carefully, you will conceive in your womb and give birth to a son, and you shall name him Jesus. 
He will be great and eminent and will be called the Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give him the throne of his father, David. And he will reign over the house of Jacob, Israel, forever. And of his kingdom there shall be no end. Mary said to the angel, How will this be, since I am a virgin and have no intimacy with any man? Then the angel replied to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you, like a cloud. For that reason, the holy, pure, sinless child shall be called the Son of God. And listen, even your relative Elizabeth has also conceived a son in her old age, and she who was called barren is now in her sixth month. For with God, nothing is or ever shall be impossible. The end. God bless you and thank you for joining me today.